owned by Three Up, Three Down Farm of Indiana, by Tom Stamper of Beecher, Illinois, trained by Tom Stamper, the driver Dale Heitman. Number two, Move It, owned by Fred Lenz of Crete, trained by Selden Ledford, Eric Ledford in the bike. Number three, Ramalama Ding Dong, owned and trained by Carol Hayes of Springfield. It'll be Michael Cox who will drive. Number four, Broadway Bonanza, owned by Tana Mira Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller, John Campbell in the bike. Number five is Taser Gun, owned by Bob and Tom Cunningham's Cunningham Racing Incorporated of Medora, trained by Bob Walker of Carrollton. The driver is Andy Miller. And number six, Night Moves, owned by Triple E Stable of Norridge, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller. Dave Miller will drive Night Moves. Post time in five minutes. Don't forget that today is Senior Citizens Day at the Illinois State Fair. Tonight, Kirk Franklin in front of the grandstand. At the Coliseum tonight, horse lovers, 7 o'clock for draft horse, pony, and mule driving competition at the Illinois State Fair. Races 9 and 10 yet to come for this afternoon's harness racing card, and race 9 is at the post. The gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Taser Gun goes for the lead. Move It is there toward the inside. These two hook up in a speed duel, headed to the first turn. Wrist Rocket comes away, racing in third. Ramalama Ding Dong goes fourth around the first turn. Then Broadway Bonanza next to last, followed by Night Moves, who is at the back. Taser Gun has made the top by one length. Move It is second at the quarter mile mark. Wrist Rocket a close up third. The opening quarter, 25 and four fifth seconds. Taser Gun leads them onto the back stretch by one length. Move It goes second. Wrist Rocket is racing in third. Ramalama Ding Dong is fourth. Two more lengths to Broadway, Bonanza, and Knight moves, trails the field. They are all single file as they move toward the half-mile mark. Taser Gun is on the lead by one length, and Move It gets a good trip in the second spot. Wrist Rocket is third. Then Ramalama Ding Dong, the half in 54 and 3 fifth seconds. Taser Gun is setting the tempo. He leads it by one length, headed to the far turn. Move It goes second. Wrist Rocket is waiting patiently in third. Ramalama Ding Dong is fourth. They're still single file. No one moving off the rail yet. Broadway Bonanza takes to the outside from fifth followed by Knight Moves, who begins to pick up cover behind him. They're at the three-quarter, and Taser Gun still well in hand to driver Andy Miller, looking for a challenge. Here comes Wrist Rocket from third, 124 and one of the three quarters. So Taser Gun comes off the far turn, leading it by a length. Move It is buried toward the inside. Wrist Rocket is third on the outside. Eighth of a mile to come. Taser Gun leads it. Andy Miller wakes him up. They lead it by a length. Move It is there, and he's taking to the outside. Wrist Rocket third. Late charge from Knight Moves. It's Taser Gun by a length. Move It is trying. Taser Gun, move it. Photo finish for the win. Either Taser Gun or Move It in 150 and four fifths. We do know that Knight Moves got up for third. Photo for the win. Hold all tickets. There it is. Move It. Prevails in the photo finish. He upsets odds on favorite Taser Gun to take the ninth race. Number two, Move It was first. Number five, Taser Gun was second. Number six, Night Moves was third. Two, five, six, unofficial. We told you this is Senior Citizens Day at the Illinois State Fair. This horse is unbelievable. If memory serves, I believe the story goes that he never raced until he was six years of age. Folks, 10 years old, and he just keeps on getting better and better. The upset winner, number two, move it, Eric Ledford.
Illinois Supreme Court Justice Rita B. Garman will make the trophy presentation. We mentioned that this was a new stakes record. That may be incorrect because I believe Movit won here last year. In fact, yes, he did and won 50 and 2, so he already had the stakes record. $22.80 on the 2 5 exacta. Talking to Eric Ledford, he is the son of trainer Selden Ledford. We've got Fred Lenz of Crete standing by with us. Fred, how long have you owned Move It? Uh, since he was seven years old. Is that correct? Did he not race till he was six? Yes. What was the story with this horse? Do you recall? I don't recall what it was that kept him delayed for so long. Was he just late developing? Um, from what I hear, they had a, uh, problems with uh, getting him out of the field and just getting him on the track. He's a little, little goofy. A little goofy, a little reluctant maybe to come out of the field and go to work, but once he finally got his mind on business, he's been great. Ten-year-old gelding, Fred, I know he's been a lot of fun for you. He's a lot of fun for us as well. 150 and four-fifths. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Fred Lenz, he's our winning owner in the State Fair Colt Stakes.